I hope you're all doing well today and as you can probably tell by the title I'm really excited to be filming this video because I'm going to be doing an in-depth review of the new Tarte holiday set that is called the Gorgeous Getaways for holiday 2013. I'll be showing you some swatches and telling you my thoughts on this palette whether I recommend it or not. So if you're interested in an in-depth review of the Tarte Gorgeous Getaways palette then keep watching. Now, as some of you know, I'm from Canada and there is no Ulta here, unfortunately, and this set was exclusive to Ulta, so the last weekend I went on a trip to New York and I stopped at a Ulta and decided to pick this palette up. As for the packaging, this is what it looks like. It comes in a beautiful purple and has some gold detailing and on the back it says the chart of giving. And this set retails for $48 uh, US money and it says on here that the retail value is $433. So that is an amazing steal for Tarte. So as for the packaging, this makeup holiday set come um, themed in a jewelry storage box and it has two tier. When you open it, it comes with a big full size mirror and it comes with this protective sheet. And it also comes with a sheet with all the products names and the first tier you receive is looks like this so you receive 16 full-size Amazonian clay eyeshadows that are all inspired by travel destinations around the world you receive full, four full-size Amazonian clay blushes and they're all new and limited edition shades and then in the second tier, when you open it, you pull this out and you get three full-size um, Maracuja lip glosses that are also new and limited edition shades. And finally, you get this nice portable collector's compact that you can take interchangeable palettes on the go. And this is very sturdy. It comes in a gold packaging and it's in a bow shape. And when you open it, it has a mirror and you can just pop in your um, quad that I'm going to show you in a few minutes. Now my thoughts on this palette, the main reason I decided to purchase this palette was because of the concept. I just thought that having a nice portable compact where you could pop and choose the colors you wanted to bring on a vacation or if you just wanted to touch up during the day and pop it in your purse, I just thought that was a genius idea and I had never seen that before. Um, so that's one of the main reasons I decided to pick this palette up. The other reason is the fact that all these products in this palette are all full size limited edition. Now I do not own any Tarte eyeshadows so I thought that was a great opportunity for me to try them. And also the blushes, I do own some Tarte blushes and they're one of my all time favorites so when I saw that in this palette they were full size, they were limited edition and they were new and exclusive to this palette, I just had to pick them up. Now what I love about this palette is usually Tarte does not indicate their names of the products behind the product. They usually just give you this little plastic sheet. But in this palette you don't need this plastic sheet anymore because Tarte has finally decided to put the names behind the product. So let me show you. For example, this palette. As you can tell, they have all the names listed behind there. So I was really happy to see that. And all the Tarte blushes and eyeshadows in this palette are inspired by travel places. Their names are inspired by travel places. So let's get into it. I'm going to describe to you each shade. I'm going to show you a few swatches and then I'm going to put some pictures so that you can see a clear close up of each eyeshadow and blushes. So let's start here. The first one is you just take this little purpley um, string and it pulls out easily so that way you don't have to damage your eyeshadows. And the first palette comes with these four shades. This one here is called Taj Mahal and it's a nice creamy white uh, shimmery shade. This one is called Grand Canyon and it's a brown uh, mustardy color that would be beautiful as a crease or transitioning color shade. This one is Big Ben and it is a beautiful matte um, gray taupe color. And finally this one is called Central Park and it is a nice green brownish shade. 
And then you have this blush called Savvy, and this is a beautiful neutral pink shade that I just think is absolutely stunning for fall. So I will insert a picture right now so you can see a close-up and some swatches. The second palette is more on the neutral side, and I think this is one of my favorite quads. And it comes with this beautiful champagne shade called Santorini Bikini. This one called Great Sphinx. This beautiful, um, it's a coppery brown shade called Pacific Sunset. And this beautiful one called Belgian Chocolate, and it's a dark, deep brown color. And it has a slight undertone in purple. And then finally, the blush is called Spontaneous, and this is a beautiful pink blush, and this is the only shimmery one in this palette. All of the other blushes are matte, and this is my favorite one. I've been wearing it quite a lot this week, and it just gives this beautiful light glow on the skin as you're glowing. The third palette is a bit more darker shades. I think this would be beautiful as crease colors or for a smoky look on the eyes. The first one is a beautiful highlighter shade for underneath the brow bone and it's called Serengeti Sand. The second one is called Buckingham Palace. This one is called Rocky Mountain. And this one is called Bordeaux. And the blush is called Ambitious. And this blush is a light dusty rose shade and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, so you have a gray, you have a taupe with some um, purpley shimmers and you have this beautiful dark purple um, shade. And then the fourth palette in here is this one and this is also darker deeper shades for your crease are for a smoky look. Um, this one is called Gold Coast and it's a beautiful gold color. This one is called Eiffel Tower, Space Needle, and Midnight in Paris. And the blush is called Lighthearted. And this blush is a beautiful peachy corally shade. I think this would be absolutely stunning for springtime. And um, these are dark gray shades. You have a gold and you have this beautiful green emerald shade, which I'm going to swatch for you guys. Um, it is a matte color, but it, it still has a beautiful sheen. You can see how pigmented these are. The eyeshadows are very creamy, they're buttery texture, you put them on the eye and they glide easily, they blend out really flawlessly on the eyes also. And I think you have the perfect match between natural shades and darker shades, so you can create a good variety of looks with these palettes because you do have your light, your mid-tone and your deep tone colors, you have some natural shades and you also have a few pop of colors like a bright emerald and a bright purple natural eye looks and you can also have a evening look in this set. As for the blushes, I just love Tarte blushes and these are no exception. I'm just so happy th that these are all limited edition um, and they're new colors. There are three mattes and one shimmer and they just are amazing, superior quality again for the quality that you would expect from Tarte. They just glide on the skin, they leave this beautiful radiance and glow within and they last on my skin for about eight to nine hours without any fading. The pigmentation in the blushes are amazing so you need to use a light hand when applying them on the cheeks but overall they're just amazing. Now in the bottom drawer you receive three of the lip glosses so let's get an up close look of these. The first one you get is called New York Minute and it's this beautiful light pink and it's a creamy um, base. The next shade is called Check Me Out and this is a darker pink color but it's still creamy and has some slight slight 
shimmers running through it. And then the last shade you get is When in Rome and it's this beautiful peach corally lip gloss and it has light golden shimmers running through it. Now all of these lip glosses have this minty scent to it and they have this slight tingle on your lips but nothing that bothers me when I'm wearing them on the lips. They just have this slight plumping agent. They're sheer but they can be built up and they have a beautiful high shine gloss when you apply them on the lips. And I've never tried um, these specific types of Tarte lip glosses before and I'm really excited that they came in this palette because I've been really really enjoying these this past week. Finally, in the bottom drawer, you get this portable palette, and you just pop your um, quad in, and like this, and it's really sturdy, so they're not coming out there. It's magnetic, and I just think this is a genius idea. It's really travel friendly. It's sleek and you just pop this in your purse and you're ready to go. So overall, my thoughts on this palette, I just think this is an awesome, awesome set from Tarte once again. I think they've been blowing it out of the park with their Tarte holiday collections coming out this season. And I think this would be the perfect gift for anyone who's just starting out with makeup, who would like to build their collection, or someone who loves Tarte and likes to experiment with different looks, whether it be natural or smoky evening looks, because you can create a lot of different looks with this palette. I think this is an awesome steal from Tarte. I think, um, I mean, the, the blushes alone are worth the whole set. So I just think this is an amazing steal from Tarte. And also, did I mention the packaging is absolutely adorable? You can just put this on your vanity and it just looks absolutely stunning. And I think anyone who enjoys beauty and makeup, this would be a perfect gift for the holiday season. So I hope you enjoyed my review guys, I hope you got more information on this collection and if you have any questions whatsoever please leave them down below and I would love to answer them. I think this is an awesome set from Tarte, I also purchased the Tarte Off The Cluff palette and I did review that one on my channel so I'll leave a link below if you would like to check that out. But please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video, bye guys!